Have you noticed her scrubbing fewer squashed flies off your windscreen of late? You're not alone. Drivers across the UK have been reporting an absence of flies, nets, wasps and moths on their vehicles, prompting fears from scientists that such insects could be in decline. And this is no new phenomenon, with experts noting a decline in insect numbers over the past few decades. Where have all the insects gone? Wondered Michael Groom of Twenta in Wiltshire in a letter to the Telegraph News paper. My windscreen remains clear whatever the speed. According to data collected by the Krefeld Entomological Society, a German amateur group of entomologists that monitored more than 100 nature reserves in Western Europe since the 80s, insect levels have fallen sharply in recent years. In 2013, the group returned to one of its trapping sites from 1989 and found the number of insects had dropped by nearly 80%. Science Mag reported, analysis of further samples confirm the phenomenon. So why should we be worried? According to Dave Galson, an ecologist at the University of Sussex who is working with Krefeld Entomological Society, other species are at risk too. If you're an insect-eating bird living in that area, four-fifths of your food is gone in the last quarter century, which is staggering, he told the magazine earlier this year. One almost hopes that it's not representative, that it's some strange artifact. The so-called winds Green phenomenon has been blamed by experts on the increasing use of pesticides over the past 50 years. And it's not just the kind of insect you find on your windscreen that is affected. Since 2006, bee colonies have declined by about a third due to the chemicals, as well as the loss of flower-rich grassland. This was backed up by Med Shadlow, chief executive of the insect charity Bug Life, who told the paper, Yes, indeed this is a well-recognized phenomenon. Just Today we had a member of the public phone up and say, unprompted, that the front of my car is now devoid of insects and there are virtually no moths in the headlights.